Bible is your sword. The battle fiercely rages. We must be in one accord. Friend, have you enlisted in the army of the Lord? Orders came from heaven in the word of God. We must be the frontline soldiers. have you enlisted in the army of the Lord? I wrote that back during Desert Storm. Some of us remember it because we were alive and kicking at that time. But uh, it was many years ago, 30 years ago to be exact. And the call came for enlistments and uh, our soldiers, our military force uh, comported themselves well in battle. It was a reminder of our spiritual warfare. And so today, I'm from the Shepherd of the Sheep. I'm taking you to Ephesians chapter 6, where we have been on Wednesday evenings in a Bible study. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 and 11. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor, not part of it, but the whole armor of God, that she may be able to stand against the wiles, the, the deceit and the trickery of the devil. He doesn't fight fair. But the call has gone out for folks to step up in this spiritual battle. During World War II, my dad went down not once but twice to try to enlist. He had had a childhood injury. He was run over by a car. And in those days, uh, they didn't <coughs> set bones as they do now. And frequently, uh, things just were left to mend as they were. And so consequently, uh, he would be classified as 4F and that was uh, incapable of serving for physical reasons, though he was, he was an all-star athlete and a semi-professional uh, softball player in his young adult years. Uh, nevertheless, the, uh, the military would not take him for World War II. He tried twice. He was a very patriotic man, loved God and country, but they wouldn't take him. He tried to enlist. I want you to know right now, whoever you are, wherever you are, uh, if you'll step up, the Lord will use you in this fierce and uh, uh, this uh, unbelievably harsh battle that we find ourselves in today. It's a spiritual warfare, but the Lord has provided everything that we need, and we need to be part of that battle. We're on the winning side, praise God. Don't give up, don't stop now. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that uh, you're helping us, providing us with the armor that we need, the wherewithal, uh, the courage to win. I pray that you'll bless us today that we might have a great day for you. With heads bowed and eyes closed, if you've never uh, received Christ into your heart, right now would be the time when you call on His name and say, Lord Jesus, come in my heart and save me right now. Please take away my sins. Be my Savior. Take me to heaven when I die. And if you've prayed that prayer from your heart, let us know. We'd love to help you. And uh, soul winners, keep on winning souls to Jesus. And Christians, don't give up. You might get discouraged. The battle might rage fiercely, as I've just sung. But uh, it's soon going to be over. We're going to see Jesus, our commander-in-chief, and he's going to decorate the, those that have been faithful and say, well done. So let's keep on for him. Lord, help us now. Give us the blessing that we need today, the wherewithal to be part of this fierce battle, knowing that we already have the victory in Jesus Christ. For it's in his name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, friend. In the army of the Lord. God.
God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.